And these are some pretty smart dorms. And they're going to be smarter in about two years when we've had a chance to figure out how to make them so. What we're doing is uh, it's the kickoff meeting with NYSERDA, who's our funding agency, um, and we're implementing a project. It's actually been started since September, uh, and, but we're implementing a project that's uh, getting us going in terms of monitoring energy use and consumption use and water use, electricity, uh, in some of our student dorms. And, uh, and that's been going on for the fall semester and starting in the spring semester, uh, we'll actually start providing a feedback mechanism to the students who live in those dorms. Um, and that feedback will tell them how much energy they're using, how much water they're using in a wide variety of different kinds of formats. Um, and this is to help them reduce their energy use and to actually give them, provide them with habits that will, that will stay with them for the rest of their lives, we hope. We're all concerned about the environment. We're all concerned about using energy and other resources responsibly. I think the first step is to better understand how we use those resources and when do we use those resources and for what purposes. Um, and this project will help us do that, will help us understand um, when and how students use energy in the smart dorms. We are specifically monitoring every type of water use, hot water, cold water, for laundry, uh, for um, sinks. Uh, so we're trying to monitor different kinds of usage, whether it's hand washing, tooth brushing, shower time, uh, electricity. We literally monitor every single circuit in the housing units. Um, and that's probably far more than we need to do, um, but this will help us determine what are the more important types of circuits that we should be paying attention to. We're also separately looking, doing work on air quality and humidity and particulates in the air. That's some sidely research uh, that's not directly associated with this project, but we expect is going to drive into other research projects that we do on, on the quality of air in people's homes. I definitely see the connection with, to, from this research to the, the broader world and you know, one of the ideas is to develop this research project so it is applicable to multiple scenarios. Um, so, you know, if everything goes, goes as according to plan, we should be able to expand it not only on campus, but also to other apartment units or, or other similar situations.